at the time our eldest daughter was at boarding school and she went down and was doing cruising around as teenagers do around the shopping centre and a person in a World Wildlife Fund t-shirt came up I'm not saying that they are World Wildlife Fund we all know that you can put on a t-shirt from whatever but this is what happened walked up to her and said tell your mother to shut up or there's going to be repercussions she was 17 and she wrote this letter same age as Brittany is now to um, the Legislative Council and I will read it to you if that's okay mm. yeah <coughs> the Honourable Rick Collis read this out tonight I put on the public record a letter from a young lady whose family has a property adjacent to the Capitar Wilderness area near Narrabri the letter states sir I feel it necessary to write to you on matters that are currently affecting rural Australia I am a 17 year old girl who attends boarding school and has every intention of returning to the land but to tell you the truth, I am now beginning to doubt whether it will be worthwhile to do so. With things like the Threatened Species Act, the Wilderness Act, the Native Vegetation Act, now preventing farmers from making a decent income, once these are placed upon you, as I understand it, they are almost impossible to remove, and even then your land has a scar which seems to go down in value. The main point of this letter is to ask people a question. What about us? Yes, us, the next generation, that are wanting to go back to the land. What is in it for us? The prospects don't entice you back to the land, let me assure you. Another thing is, do the people who are doing this to the backbone of Australia really realise what they are doing? What they are doing to us as a nation? What, what are they do, going to do as a nation when the taxes are raised because farmers cannot use their land to produce food? I bet that our city counterparts are going to be the first to complain and demand an explanation as to why they have to pay yet another toll rise. I have come to hear about these problems through personal experience and I for one am infuriated. Has anyone bothered to ask us the next generation what we think? What about the so-called public consultation process? I wouldn't have heard anything if this wasn't happening to me. No one at my school knows about this and the sad thing is it will affect them. They are saying to me, when did this happen? No, you are lying. We haven't heard about this, so it can't be true. Do you know how frustrating it is to know about these things and have no one listening? The people that, the people that do know about this are filled in a soundproof room screaming at the top of their lungs with no one listening. The car government is not winning the support of rural Australians by wanting to make this a great green country. If they're not careful, they are going to get more than they have ever bargained for. Taking away people's livelihoods is not the best way to win votes, or, they, or have they not uh, recognised this tiny, crucial detail? As for the other bodies that are helping them to destroy our futures and current lives of people, well, I am nothing short of disappointed. How can they do this to people? Don't they understand the implications? I am sure that if we were to walk into the houses and repossess everything that they have ever owned or worked for, they wouldn't be too happy and neither would we. Remember, my daughter's 17 and she's writing this. At the time, the Greens in the chamber were laughing. They thought this letter wasn't real. They thought it was a setup. She's asking for help. Now when I look at a farm while driving around the countryside, I notice things that I wouldn't normally. I notice that farmers in the past have made mistakes. But they've also taken giant leaps forward to maintain high levels of biodiversity. In fact, they are so high for a reason. The farmers of today want to keep our country looking good. And if you ask me, they are, and I'm proud of it. Farmers do take care of their land, as they are the ones who will suffer if they don't. So why don't you give them a break? These giant national parks that the government is dreaming on dreaming of are a waste of time. Australia already has trouble supporting the population that it carries away yet more useful land it would eventually kill us is that what we want when I grow up I will be looking for a property but it won't be for all the right reasons I will be looking for one that can't be taken off me I will be looking for a patch of dirt that is barren but yet can run what I need to live off because I know how if it's even possible I won't be living near a national park or a state forest or a nature reserve as a matter of fact I don't know if I can uh, don't know even if I can live on the land when I grow up. Can you tell me why I should when all I want from it will probably be taken away from me? So before this green movement gets 
even further out of hand. Think about us. We have to live with your huge mistake. Ashley Stewart. <laughs>